I'd like to take the opportunity this week to discuss the position of Turkey with regard to the Caucasus. That's a region generally that includes Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Armenia. It's been a source of some dispute and upheaval in the last years because of an ongoing uh, attempt by Armenia to partition Azerbaijan in the region called Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, Turkey's position has occasionally been assailed as uh, intransigent because in retaliation for that aggression it has closed its border with Armenia. Uh, but the background, I think, certainly warrants uh, an appreciation of the Turkish position. Uh, almost two decades ago, Armenia launched uh, an aggressive war against Azerbaijan in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. It was something akin to Saddam Hussein's invasion of Kuwait uh, in 1990, uh, unprovoked, uh, and it's an aggression that has been condemned by the United Nations General Assembly and various United Nations Security Council resolutions. Now, perhaps the greatest mischief that uh, uh, occasioned by this particular aggression is it would set a precedent that could entirely unravel that area of the world. Uh, for example, if it's a simple, uh, what would call ethnic homogeneity in a part of a country justifies the equivalent of secession, uh, think of what that would mean for Georgia that's already got its problems with Abkhazia and South Ossetia, it would be dismantled. Uh, and everyone recognizes the claims that the PKK, the terrorist group, makes on southeastern Turkey. And indeed, Armenia itself uh, not only has advanced aggression in Nagorno-Karabakh to expand its territory, but its parliamentarians also covet uh, restoring the unratified Treaty of Sev of 1920 to make claims on the sovereignty of Turkey. Now, international law is exceptionally important in order to restrain this kinds of uh, conflict that threatens to unravel the international system, and Turkey is certainly quite justified in imposing a border closing in order to encourage you know, Armenia to cease its violation of international law and United Nations resolutions. It is most unfortunate, I think, that uh, the United States of America has not appreciated the Turkish position and there's regularly uh, clamor for opening the border, suggesting that it would increase trade, which is certainly true. And insofar as you've got open trade there, you're increasing the potential for oil supplies, transportation, uh, pipelines, and otherwise. That would certainly be a boon not only to the region, but to the West. But on the other hand, that would be at the risk of establishing a principle of aggression there, uh, which would cause perhaps a very long-term instability and conflict. Uh, I think Turkey's position here is uh, similar uh, to the position it took uh, years ago over Cyprus when it was required to prevent a genocide of Turkish Cypriots and a violation of international law and of that uh, constitutional covenant to intervene uh, to prevent that uh, aggression from succeeding. And it was so-called rewarded by its virtue with a sanction from the United States Congress on an arms embargo. And uh, I would hope on this occasion uh, we don't have uh, Turkey's good deed rewarded uh, by being punished uh, in the United States because of a domestic political lobby uh, that's uh, championed by the Armenian Americans. But I underscore uh, the position of Turkey is fully uh, sanctioned by international law. It's the wisest course to take in the Caucasus, and I think in the long run, it will finally bring peace to that region. I want to underscore again how discrepant the international response has been to the Armenian aggression as opposed to others. There have been perhaps a million Azerbaijanis displaced because of that conflict. A million, that is 12, 13, 15 percent of the entire population, a number that exceeds the total number of Kosovar Albanians who were displaced by Slobodan Milosevic. And we know in that instance Slobodan Milosevic ended up before the International Criminal Court uh, for his war crimes, crimes against humanity. And even though the devastation against Azerbaijan inflicted by Armenia has been much greater, the international response has been much more muted. That kind of double standard has to end if the West is to earn the respect of the Islamic world. Thank you.